Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to learn how to send your first Postman request using Postman app or web. So the first thing we need to go ahead and see or explore is the Postman documentation. So official documentation of any tool is the best starting point if you want to learn that particular tool because if the documentation is good, you will learn most of the details from the documentation itself. And here the Postman documentation, I found it very comprehensive and very easy to follow so here if you see sending your first request right is absolutely easy in postman so you don't have to write any sort of code or anything you simply on the postman interface i'll walk you through how you can use the endpoint api endpoint and the request method to get the response accordingly now apis are the structured way for a particular application to communicate to other application or to the server right so we have understood about the apis in lot detail in the last tutorial already so now if say for example if you see the request of the accessing any of the information will include a url okay of the api endpoint so basically where the api is so which server you want to hit so that that url you need then the method so basically whether you want you are fetching certain information or you are posting certain information so there are a lot of http methods that will also understand along with this series right now in order to send our first request what we'll use is we'll simply use this endpoint okay the api endpoint which is postman hyphen echo.com slash get okay and always make sure that you go ahead and copy this for the the simple reason that if you're typing it, it you might end up doing some of the errors so go ahead and copy this particular endpoint and let's quickly go to the postman and see what is the response of this particular endpoint right so this will be the first request in postman right so here let me minimize this now in order to open the tab so this is basically an interface that uh, the postman interface for the postman app in order to start your first request or do the first request click on this plus sign here okay it will open the tab and then you have to enter the request url which is the endpoint that we have simply copied right so postman hyphen echo.com slash get okay and now what exactly what is the method what we are trying to do is the method here so this get if you click on this drop down you will see that there are so many different methods available here these are the http methods so at the moment we just want to see the status of this postman uh, postman echo server okay so this is the endpoint we have defined the the method okay and then in order to send this particular request right what we need to do is we simply click on this send button right there are a lot many other things that we are going to understand about but as of moment you will see that there are some parameters some authorizations for this api endpoint doesn't require any authorization so we don't need to worry about any of the authorization from this drop down so if say for example there are there will be apis and mostly in in the real scenarios you will have the different authorization for accessing the apis which will understand as well so we'll be utilizing all of this in that section then you will see that by default the postman will pass certain headers right so if you'll simply click on the headers and you will see that the six hidden so these are the if you click on this hidden you will see that these are the headers that will be automatically added from uh, from the postman client right these are kind of required uh, headers that will be added uh, when you are sending this particular request right in the body you can send different formats for example you have the json uh, if, if you are sending a post request etc post method then you can send the body we are sending the get request so we'll simply keep it as is as get and then pre-request script tests and settings we'll understand all of that when we go to the testing section of the postman so simply click on the send and you will see that the response has been received okay so let me minimize it a little bit okay so you'll see that this is the response and in the response you will see all of the details so this is the body of the response which is json and then you will see the cookie and the headers that are being sent back from the server right so this is how you are going to send your first request in postman and then the most important thing here is that you need to see the status is 200 okay that means the request this get request has been hit or the api request 
request has been successful and the status is 200 okay that means the response has been received from the server now let's go back and see the documentation little further right so what we have done we have done all of this we have got this response and then what has happened so this is our client right the postman app that we are opening here that that this is the open app so what has happened so you will see that in the postman we have used this postman hyphen echo get in postman and then hit the send button what has happened this request has then hit the api server postman echo.com this is the api server which sends the response back to the client right so they have routed it in a different location but ideally good to understand in a way that the request has been sent and then response has been sent back and displayed on the display right so displayed on this display that you see here basically the body right so this is the response that is being displayed in the postman interface that they are showing here so this is what has happened when you have hit your first request or entered your first request in postman now this is from the postman app now the same thing you can achieve from the web postman as well so if you go to the postman.com and because we have already signed up then you can simply go ahead and sign in and once you will sign in let me sign in with google so you will be redirected this is the web version of the postman so you can directly access this interface from the web from your browser if you go to postman.com and sign in it will redirect you to the same sort of interface that we have seen here in the desktop version right in the desktop app so what you need to do you need to do here is absolutely similar so we'll simply go ahead and go to our workspace which is rcv academy api testing workspace that we have created and then we simply click on this plus sign here okay so let me minimize this section here and simply click on the plus sign and then we have the similar interface right so we can simply go ahead and enter the request url okay which is the postman hyphen echo.com which we have copied and then select the request method so this is the get we want to see the status or get the status of this postman server and then simply go ahead and send this particular request okay so click on the send button and you will see that the response will be received in the similar fashion as we have seen in the postman app that is the desktop version of the app right so this is the response that we have received headers and if there are any tests we'll see the test results as well which we'll understand in the testing section of the apis okay the cookies headers and the test results so this is how you are going to submit or send your first request in postman app or the web version of the postman both of the interfaces will look pretty similar right so you can easily navigate through and understand that doesn't matter whether you are using web version or the desktop version the face will look absolutely similar okay so that's all for this tutorial on how to send your first request in postman web or app i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching